Hello guys, in this new tutorial in Blender, sometimes in the shading editor you would need to easily switch between shaders, vectors, colors, maybe looping these outputs and maybe animating them through the frame of the timeline or a complex mathematical logic. For this reason, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the equivalent of the index switch node that already exists in the geometry nodes editor, but not in the shading editor. In detail I'm going to make one index switch node group about the shaders but in the downloadable file in my Gumroad page you will find five group nodes one for each type of output but the boolean so let's get started i'm working now with the blender version 4.2.3 and this is the final result as you can see we have a simple cube with a material and we have five emission shaders with these group nodes we can switch between the inputs with the feature of the looping every x indexes so for example if i want to loop every three indexes i can set three and you can see the looping between the white the red and the blue without using the other two shaders so in the file you will find also these four group nodes one for the integers one for the floats one for the vectors and one other for the color so let's make the first we can start adding a simple cube with the shift a mesh and cube we can can add a material and go in the shading editor now that we are here we need a system that is able to switch between inputs thanks an index so to make this node we need to understand the mathematical logic behind and i need to write something inside our space so i'm going to add an emission shader and a duplication with the shift d of this shader changing the color to yellow for example and one another color for the red i delete this principal bsdf and we have these three materials it's obvious we need to use the mix shader node for this particular group node and the idea is to connect these first two shaders inside this mix shader as you can see we have a factor so the factor of zero means that the system will choose the first input factor equal to one the system will choose the second input and it will use this as the output now to connect this third shader we need another mix material linking this output as the first input input of the second mix shader and this shader here and so on so if i have another emission with the blue i need to duplicate another time this mix shader link this here and link this to the shader link this to the surface and this is the simple technique so now that we have these three mix shaders we can manipulate and manage these factors between zero and one to automatically switch between one shader to the other as you can see we have a pyramid and if i have one one and one the system will take this shader here okay this shader because the last mix shader has the value of one so the priority starts from the last mix shader to the first so in the case i switch this to zero the system will choose the values from this factor as the second priority so in this case because i have one the system will choose this emission and if i set this to zero i have this one that is set to one and the system will take this output here otherwise i would have the white input so how to manage this with only one number i'm going to add a value it is our index the technique is this imagine you have three shaders to switch okay and you want to use this index to switch the shaders now at the same time you know that in the mix shader the value of the factor goes from zero and one and it is uh, an attribute clamped and this means that all the values below or equal zero returns the value of zero inside this factor and all the values above one will returns the factor of one now the trick is to switch between zero and one so a binary combination of values inside multiple nodes of the mix shader as you see here now to have the same example of the three shaders i'm going 
to drop this mix shader and this emission and we will insert these after the explanation and as you can see if we have zero and zero for both of these mix shader i have white so in this case to have white i need to have the first factor equal zero and the second factor equal to zero to have the yellow i need to have one for the first mix shader like this and zero for the second to have the red emission shader in the output i need to have one for the second and for the first we don't care in this case so i can have zero or one I don't mind. I could set, for example, one. It's not a problem. As you can see, we have a binary sequence, all unique, and each of these combinations is one shader in the output. And to make this logic here, I have the input index and I need to find the correct combination to link inside the factor of the mix shader, manipulating the index switch input. So in this case, as you can see, we have zero. And if I take this index and I subtract one, what I get is minus one. And if I link this output of a mathematical operation inside the factor of a mix shader, what I get is zero. Because I remember you, all the values be below and equal to zero will give me the value of zero inside the factor. If I subtract another time, I have minus one and the factor will always be zero. Okay, we find the correct binary combination for the first shader. If I have a zero as the index, I have the factor zero to link inside the first mix shader and the value of zero as the factor for the second mix shader. Now, if I switch from zero to one and I subtract one, what I get is zero here and minus one and the factor for the mix shader will be zero and if i link minus one i always have a zero okay this combination doesn't work because it's equal to the previous and i need to have a difference of combination here i need to have one and zero but let's finish the logic if i take two and subtract one i have one and here we have a zero and the result for the factor will be one because i link one inside the first mix shader factor and zero for the second here we have a good result so to shift these two elements up by one what i can do is to add one to the input index and in this way the input of this mathematical operation will not be the original input 0 1 and 2 but 1 2 and 3 and for this input i will get 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 minus 1 equal to minus 1 and the factor will be 0 and 0 if i take 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 1 is 0 and the factor for these mixed shaders will be 1 in this case because i'm going to link this 1 and 0 in this case and if i subtract from 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and then 1 and the factor will be again 1 because 2 is above 1 and if I link 2 inside of this factor of the mix shader I always get the factor of 1 so the choosing of the second input shader in the mix shader and if I subtract the minus 1 another time and I get 1 if I link the 1 I always have 1 and voila as you can see, we have the same binary combination. We need to choose the correct shader. And this means that if I go here and apply to this index value an addition of a single unit here, and then I subtract minus one, so I apply this first mathematical operation before going inside this factor, I have these factors interpretation from this mix shader. And if I subtract one another time and link this to the second mix shader, I have this logic of interpretation of the factor. And as you can see, with this technique, if I switch from zero to one, I easily get the next binary combination of pink values here. And the same result are inside these factors of these mix shaders. And the result is yellow, because if I have a zero for this mix shader, the system will go through the first connection. And because we have one in this case for the first mix shader, the system will choose the second shader 
connected to the mix shader. If I set two, I have the red result because in the second mix shader we have the factor of one and the system will choose the second input regardless uh, the value of the first factor but we don't care. Now this is with three shaders uh, but if I add another shader so I have the third shader I will have four here I will have three and two and the system will interpret the factor one and one and as you can see we have a problem here because I no longer have a unique combination but in this case if I have four indexes I have four shaders and for this reason if I add a new emission I need a new mix shader to add inside my structure and this means that here in my table I needed to add another subtraction of one before going inside this new mix shader in this way I will have the third subtraction and this will give me minus two here minus one here and zero here and the factor that the system will get inside of this mix shader after this subtraction will be zero here zero here zero here and for the last we will have one and as you can see this new binary combination zero 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 one zero zero one one zero and one 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 are unique and in this way I can add another subtraction here link this value and link this to the factor link the new emission in this second slot and the output of the previous in the first slot and link this to the complete output and now if I go inside of this index and type 3 as you can see here for the input I get the fourth shader so the idea is if you want to manage a number of inputs here about shaders, colors, vector or whatever, you need to have a number of subtraction and a number of mix shader equal to a minus one. I have four inputs, I have three mix shaders and three subtractions. Now why A minus one? Because the first shader can manage at the same time two inputs, whereas the next mix shader can only manage one added input. This is the reason we have only A minus one mix shaders and subtractions. Now let's add the, the looping features and if I want to loop inside these combinations I can easily use the mathematical module operation here before adding one to the entire sequence of inputs and if I link this to the floor module and link this here and set for example four this means that if I have zero zero module four is equal to zero one module four equal to one two is equal to two and three equal to three and four module four is equal again to zero and in this way I'm looping the result of from this mathematical operator and this will allow me to set here four to have again the white and five to get again the yellow so you can see I can uh, change this uh, parameter to set what is the starting point of the loop so if you want to loop after all the shaders you have in the input set the value of this floor module equal to a so the number of inputs you have otherwise you can decrease this number to anticipate the looping starting point now after this uh, entire explanation I'm going to remove the annotation because what we want is to make a group node so I can maximize this panel we can take these uh, input emissions and move this a little bit and we can select all these nodes press ctrl G to make a group press N to see the inputs and the outputs of these nodes drag the index here change this in the index link this floor module inside of the input rename it in the loop every and move it near the index this index is not a floor but an integer number between zero and whatever number you want loop every is a value in this moment equal to one because I have four inputs and we can leave this default to four but the minimum of one because 
at least you have uh, one input and if you leave uh, one you will have always the same input as the output we can rename the shader as the input zero and the other inputs we can rename the output we can press h to collapse this uh, mix shader select this node ctrl j f2 loop effect select these ctrl j f2 prepare sequence we can rename it in index switch shader we can go out and this is important check this to make this a fake user group node otherwise if you drop the connection inside this setup and you close the file and reopen the same file you could lose this entire work i can set four for example and now if i want to animate this loop i can drop this value and here we have the index and i can type hashtag frame divided by five if i press play this is the animation so i'm switching using the frame of the timeline all these shaders and the group node is done now if you want to increase and extend this group node you need to enter inside take one of these subtract and mix shader duplicate them with a shift d link the last mix shader in the output of the group output link the previous mix shader in the first socket link the previous uh, subtraction to the last uh, subtraction and add inside uh, your group input a uh, duplicated input uh, socket in this way with the input four i can link uh, this uh, input inside uh, this mixer shader go out uh, and choose another shader so i can add another emission set here this value link this to the output and loop every five instead of four and in this way i can press play and as you can see now i have also this value you can see because i'm going too fast so if i divide it by 15 as you can see we have all the colors so white yellow red blue and fuchsia i remember you in the downloadable file in my gumroad page you will find all these five group nodes one for each type of outputs so you will be able to use them for the shaders integers floats vectors or colors to use this group of nodes inside your project you can make a new file and use the menu file and append doing the double click on my file go inside the node tree folder and select what node you prefer between these five group nodes and that's it so thank you guys for watching this video i hope the blender team will add the equivalent of this uh, group node inside the shading editor with also other stuff like uh, switch conditional operator etc if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and see you to the next tutorial bye